Hello everyone! Today we have another declutter finally, which I'm very excited to film. Um, as some of you realise, I missed this drawer. I went straight to my mascaras after doing foundation and everything. I don't know how this skipped my mind, but it did. So today we're backtracking and we're doing pressed powders and bronzers. So my bronzers go in the bottom drawer and then my pressed powders are right here up top. We're going to start with you know, bronzes and everything, get this draw done and then move up. You can see that we're really pressed for space right here. Um, so I'm just going to completely empty out the drawer and start fresh and just filter stuff in for you guys. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Enjoy. Hope you guys enjoy the um, fast forward sounds as well as always. There is some random stuff in this drawer, like this Kylie Jumbo, like, eyeshadow in that gold color. Like, why is it in here? I don't know, but anyway. All right, so let's get started. Please excuse my nails in advance. Um, we're in lockdown while I'm filming this, so haven't been able to get my nails done, and they're very, very grown out and chipped. So yeah, and... I don't have my ring on right now. No reason. Don't worry. We're still happily married. <laughs> so we have these Heart Hamptons Weekender Contour Palette, which I absolutely adore. I haven't used that in a little while, but that's going to stay. Can you even see this? I hope so. Um, we have some Too Faced bronzers. I'm just going to get them all out. We also have the Hulas. I do have another Hula, which I haven't tried yet. So I need to make sure I've got space for that. It's the Hula Glow. Uh, but anyway, so we have this bronze peach by Too Faced, which I actually really liked, but I think I'm going to declutter this because I do have a lot of other cream bronzes. I feel like this one might have been like limited edition or whatever, so I'll declutter that. And then I'm going to keep these two. So we've got Chocolate Gold Soleil by Too Faced, which is stunning. And we've also got the Milk Chocolate Soleil, which I bought for a... Full face of your guys' favourites, I think it was. Um, so I will continue to use that a little bit. It's not my favourite, so theoretically I should probably like declutter it, but also I just bought it and I don't want to like just get rid of it straight away. I've got two caramels because they're like one of my favourite bronzes. So I think I will keep one in here and then take the other one back to my beach house, which is where I think this came from in the first place. I have more like palettes, so like the Charlotte Tilbury duo. I don't know, maybe I can put them back there. Does that shut? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it shuts there for some reason. <laughs> there you go. Alright, so I've got my highlight palettes back here. On the side. Or contour highlight palette kind of vibes. I have my Too Faced Pineapple Bronzer, which I feel like surely this is discontinued. I really liked this, but we'll declutter that one. Um, I've got Nars Laguna, which I don't even really reach for that often, but I feel like I can't get rid of it right now. I don't know. I'm going to keep them for now. I have a couple of Tarte bronzers. So we have Park Ave Princess, the shimmery one. And then we've got Park Ave Princess, the matte one. I actually really like them. So they can stay for now. We might readjust the um, organization of these a little bit soon. I'm definitely keeping my Nabla Umbra highlighting powder. This is so pretty have this oh like that's a powder we'll talk about that in a second i've got powders and bronzes a little bit mixed up in here right now um we have a barley sands by becca which becca is discontinued right so i should probably get rid of that that's so nice though i'll give it to a friend to enjoy because i won't really use that on video anymore since we can't get it and i do have it two of the medium city bronzes one's in warm and one's in cool by maybelline might keep them as you know, drugstore options. I have my Givenchy Healthy Glow in shade 2. Love that. That's going to stay. And of course my Hourglass is definitely going to stay. This is the shade Radiance, Radiant Blonde Light. Uh, my new Dior one's going to stay that I just used in my full face of Dior makeup. I'll link that video down below. I've got the Glowish Light uh, bronzer I really like it so far it makes you look very airbrushed and I do have a couple more shades so I need to put some room aside I might actually go into my drawer in a second and actually like grab them 
Um, I've got my Dior shade 4N, which I like to use more as like a bronzer. It's a little bit too dark for me most of the time. So I use it to like warm up my face. So I might just pop that word a bit somewhere. My Mecca Max Sunlit Skin Bronzer. I love this. This is so nice. So I'm definitely keeping that one. I highly recommend that. It's probably one of my favorites. My battery needs to be changed. So let me go find some more bronzers. I've got heaps on the ground still that we're filtering back in that I took out just now, but I'll grab some new ones too so we can like organize the more satisfying, um, you know, with the other shades of the bronzers and everything. All right, so I have Hula Glow, which I've not tried yet. So I will try it in a video. Oh, it's so unsatisfying how like this section is slightly smaller. So I can't fit them all in. I guess we'll go like that. I don't know. Um, we've got two more of the glowish. So we've got the shade medium and tan light. And then this one's in light. So I don't know if tan light's going to be too dark. But this one's almost borderline too light for me. Like I use it when I've got like no big tan on kind of vibe. This one looks quite dark. But I'm still curious. Um, I don't know what to do here. I might just leave it in the box in here. Because you know me, I do like a darker bronze a lot of the time. I'm just going to swatch it. Yeah, I feel like I might actually just unbox the last one because I reckon I'm going to like it. Let me swatch it. Yeah, totally. They're very buildable natural kind of colours. And then we also have this, which I grabbed because I have this one, which I used in a full face of first impressions. I'll link it below. And I was obsessed with this. It reminds me so much of the Hula Caramel color. This is golden tan cream bronzer. I think I'm going to put creams over this side. Then I've also got amber, which looks a little bit less orangey. Like it's a little bit more, I guess, like yellow toned or something. This one's very caramelly. So... Got both of those. I've also got the Tarte Seychelles, I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, cream bronzer, which I like. I'm going to keep for now. And I've got my Danessa Myricks Beauty cream bronzer. We've got the shade light and medium right there. I've got my Tom Ford bronzer, which I don't reach for enough, but it is actually very pretty. Look at that. It's like a shimmery one, so... Keep that for now as well. Um, we have Galactic Beauty Carbo, which is really nice. I used to love that, but I might declutter it. It's quite old. We've got Global Glow by MAC. And we have the Golden Bronze Loose Powder, which is a really good dupe for the Wonder Powder and Gobi that I always rave about. I have this Doll Beauty Sun Bronzer in Medium, which I want to keep. This is very orangey too, which I low-key like just love so in here i also have this mac silver dusk version which is more of a highlighter so we'll pop that aside i have this really old makeup obsession contour which i might keep just as like a drugstore option contour and then i have bunches of cream and liquids so I am going to go through. So we've got the Contour Stick by Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I'll keep. We have the Kendall Kylie Stick, which I actually like love. Do I keep it or not? Because that's limited. Mm, I'm going to keep it for now. We'll see how they fit. We've got the Chubby Stick. We've got the Ofra, which I love. This is such good stuff. It's the shade Sunset. It's the Skin Sculpting Wand. I love that. Um, we have the Fenty Match Sticks, which I'll keep for now. I just purchased that for a full face of, I think it was your guys' favourites. And then, of course, my Hollywood Contour Wand I love. So, that's going to stay. And then we've got these Benefit products, which are actually very, very old. So, I think I might get rid of those. And I think they're discontinued anyway. And then we've got the Kylie Bronze Medium Bronzer Stick. Let me just double check. I do have all of the new Kylie stuff. So... I might just check and see what's there and kind of swap it out for the new stuff. We've also got the Maybelline V-Face Duo stick as well. Which we may as well just pop in there. We've got the space. And I do have a couple of palettes as well. Like my Cleo Cosmo palette and this MAC one. Which is more of like highlights. This thing is falling apart. It's honestly like I'm kind of disappointed in the quality of that. For something that's so beautiful I'm like why? Um, yeah. 
one second. All right, so we have four bronzers. There's no new like sticks, so we'll keep those. Um, this stick that I've kept is in bronze medium, by the way. It's a really nice color. I've used it a few times. So yeah, those are creams. I feel like I should move these creams over there, so maybe we'll do that shortly. But anyway, so I have the shades Almond. This is the bronzing powder, Almond. And then this one is in the shade Tanned and Gorgeous. And then this one is in the shade Toasty. And then this one is in the shade Khaki, which I think is the palest one. It does look very pretty though. So yeah, Almond's gonna be way too dark, I think. So I'm going to donate that, which is the box. The boxes are so cute. And then this one looks too dark as well, which is Tanned and Gorgeous. And then we've got Toasty, which I feel like I could pull off, but I just don't really want it. I think I would just keep Khaki, which is the pale one. Surely there's more shades because uh, these shades, the numbers seem to jump up. Like that's 100 Khaki, 300 Toasty, 400. And then the last one was 600, I think. So I think there must be some in-between shades. So I'd probably go for the one above that normally. But we'll just keep this one to try out at some stage. I'm going to keep that in there for now. And then we've got heaps of blushes and highlighters, which we will try out in the blush and highlighter part of my declutter. So I'm just thinking, do I want to move around some stuff? I think I will. I don't really know what my thought process is here, but we've got space for growth, which is nice. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I think I probably do have a few more bronzers around the place, but let's just go ahead and open up the powders now. So I'll readjust my camera so you can see better. There might be a couple of bronzers randomly in here too. We will soon find out. I'm not too sure. Um, this drawer is an absolute shambles. All right, so I think you can see everything now. Uh, once again, we will just take everything out and filter it back in. Okay, so I definitely had way too many uh, loose powders considering I don't use loose powder very often at all, as you guys know if you watch my videos. So I just put one of these dividers back in. I don't really know where to start. Maybe I'll, I don't know. I'm gonna start with my like mineral powder foundation. So we've got the Tribe Mineral Foundation. I love this. You can just use it all alone. Um, I also use Fit Cover, but I think that's at my beach house, and I feel like this is my new favourite, so who cares. Um, okay, I honestly am just like, I don't even know where to start, I just know that I need to be cutthroat, because most of the powders in this drawer I am a huge fan of, right, but, um, there's just too many, and it's too messy, um, so they've got to go. I do have the Cover Effects pressed powders, which, these are discontinued. But I still have quite a lot, and it still seems to perform so well. Um, so I do think I'll still keep it. I may as well just use it up just in like real life, you know, when I'm not filming videos. 
because I do love it so much. I feel like it's almost identical to the MAC Studio Fix powder, which I have many of as well. So let me just grab them all. Um, this is the powder I wore on my wedding day. It's the powder I've worn for years now. Oh, I've also got the shade N10 of the cover effects, which is like my pale one. So put it over there. And I feel like I do have more powders than this by MAC. I uh, just don't know where they are. So this is obviously a backup in C30. We have C30, which is the same as NC30 basically. It's almost empty. Sorry, I might just declutter it early. Alright, we've got C2, almost empty. We have NC25, that one's nice and new. We have NC20, nice and new. So, you saw it here first, when I do film my empties eventually. Do you guys still like empties? It'll be very chill like this. It's just like, probably about 60 mini reviews on products that I've finished using. Um, I've got a whole tub in my hallway cupboard full of skincare, body care, hair care, etc. So let me know if you want to see that and I'll film it. I've just been putting it off because I'm not sure if anyone wants to see that. Um, but yeah, you saw it here first. I'm not going to bother putting them in that video now because you guys know I've used up my Max Studio Fix powder. So I can go ahead and use my new one. Exciting. So I've got NC20. NC25 and NC30, which is like my freshest fake tan kind of shade. Alright, okay, this is where it gets hectic. Um, I'm gonna grab some stuff that I just am gonna eyeball and declutter and give to friends straight off the bat. Um, these, I'll declutter the Colourpop. I don't know, I'm just grabbing stuff that. This is amazing, but it's so hard for you guys to get. Sorry, I'm like lost on my own train of thought right now because I'm like stressed about this. This is so good, but it's impossible for you guys to get in limited edition. It's like a Chinese brand. Um, yeah, whatever. We're committing. I think I'll declutter the change maker. Um, I've got the Charlotte Genius Magic Powder for under eye and face. Did I like this? I can't remember now. I bought this for a full face of Charlotte Tilbury video, I'm pretty sure, didn't I? Or did I get sent this? I can't remember, but I'm curious to see if I like it, so we'll try it again. We have heaps of the Born This Way powder, which was one of the only loose powders I liked. Let me grab all my loose powders because I need to chop this shit down badly. Okay, it's even worse than I thought. What the heck? Oh, yep, there's more. And I'm pretty sure there's more up there. I'm gonna put this, sorry for the shaking, I'm holding my camera out of the way, but the cupcake up the very top of my concealers. And I also found this that was in the wrong thing. It's the secret brightening powder for under eyes as well. So that doesn't belong here. We've got, oh my god, there's like loose powder like fucking everywhere, holy shit. Okay, anyways, so this is another cream bronzer kind of product. One of my favorite cream bronzers. It's the Tantor by Huda Beauty. I love it. It's so good. All right, so oh, here's my fit cover that I was talking about. One of the other mineral foundations I'm obsessed with. We've got the Nikia Joy. I'm going to keep that. We've got the Revolution light pink one. Fuck. Okay. That just makes me hate it. It just went everywhere. No. I am sad. Okay. I'm so over loose powder right now. I'm so upset. Okay, anyways. So we've got the Nabla one, which I think was one of my favorites because I kept the um, refill. So I'll donate the refill. I guess we'll just keep that guy. Um... Oh god, we've got the Laura Mercier. I've got translucent honey and translucent. I don't know. I don't know. I've got real sand as well. The heck? I might keep the like actual tinted one. I'm gonna declutter this. I loved this back in the day for a loose powder. But you know, I might declutter these. I don't know. It's just so many. I like this. This is the Mineral Veil by Bare Minerals, but it's the Illuminating. It's really shiny, so it's actually really pretty. Like, if you just want, like, a really bright face. <laughs> I'm going to definitely keep Sahara, my makeup store. Um, okay, this is another one 
of the Revolution, which I'm terrified to open now. Please don't go everywhere. Please. Okay, this one's got the sift drone. I don't know, I feel like it's such a nice brightening colour. I might keep that for now for like under the eyes or something. Let's see, and we've got the Peach Perfect as well here, um, which I used to love too. I'm going to declutter it. I've got too many. So we've really culled it down now just by simply getting rid of the loose powders. Oh my god, I'm loving it though. Like, this is just so nice and like minimal. We love for that. Alright, so mm, do I want to put my under eye setting powders in here? I'm kind of tempted to actually. So we've got the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for Under Eyes. I'm going to just grab them out and then put them in here. We've got the cupcake powder. We've got Well Rested and Summer Bisque. And then we have our Benefit Press powders. I might declutter them. Um, we have our Innisfree No Sebum Mineral powders, which is so nice for blurring and everything. But these are really old, so I'm going to declutter them. We have the Peach Blur by Too Faced which is pretty old also, but it's quite unique. Maybe I'll keep them for now. I kind of want to try them again. We have the Clio Stay Perfect No Sebum Blur Pact, which opens up like that, and it's like a translucent kind of product. I might keep it for now. We've got the Urban Decay Press Powder, which I like. We have the Nabla Press Powder, which I like. We have Australis Press Powder, which I like, Covergirl, which I like, the Wild People Translucent Powder, which is one of the best, you know, translucents, and we have the Born This Way Almond Pressed Powder. I haven't really used too much, so maybe we'll try them out some more. We've got the Fit Me Pressed Powders, which are decent as well, and then, of course, we've got Charlotte Tilbury, which is a nice high-end one, and my Dior and 2N Natural, which is my face shade, which I love. Where do I put them? Packaging is quite big. Fits there. Okay. So, there we have it. I feel like this looks weird over here. I'm trying to like make it look pretty, but it's kind of annoying. That's our press powders. Oh, wait, there was a couple more. There was the MAC stuff, which do I keep there? No way. I might put that in my highlighter drawer. I think we talked about that. And then there is the Becca press powder, which Becca once again discontinued, so may as well get rid of him. Wow, we did good today, holy shit. So that's what we're left with for powder. And then this is what we're left with for bronzers. Hold on. Not a bad cull, I think. And I'll show you what I got rid of. I got rid of all of those powders and bronzers in here. So some of these I will donate, like the new ones I'll donate. And then anything that's pretty, you know, pre-loved <laughs> can go to my friends and family. Oh wait, that's not meant to be in there. This one. This one, here. this one here will go up in my palette holder on my desk. Lucky I noticed that. Well, I mean, I would have noticed it while I was reorganizing anyway. But yeah, so that's what we are getting rid of today. There are definitely some massive favorites in here. Like these and these. But... You know, sometimes the love just has to come to an end. If you love it, set it free, etc, etc. And I've got so many new favourites and also a whole lot of new stuff that I haven't tried yet. Oh my god, I've got makeup on my pinky. I was like, am I bleeding? But it's it's makeup. Um, I've got some new things that I'll end up transferring into the drawers too. Lots of new bronzers I've purchased by like Vive Cosmetics and other brands. Yeah, I also bought some of the Physicians Formula bronzers because you guys recommended them. So we've got room for the new stuff to come in and yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was relaxing. Next up will probably be the straw while I figure out what I'm going to do with all my lashes because I'm thinking I'm going to transfer all my lashes to my top drawer and then utilize the space again for more 
highlighters and blushes and stuff. I don't know. Um, so oh, maybe I will do that next, which means I'll do my single eyeshadows and everything next. I don't know. I don't really know what we're going to do next, so it's going to be a surprise for us all. But yeah, I'm thinking about just rearranging some of my drawers, so that'll be exciting anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. Safe rest of your week, happy rest of your week, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>